All right, guys, what is up? September 27th, Jeff, you were correct. I was waiting for you guys to be quiet, but we just went live anyways. I'm not sure if they can actually hear you left or yet, so go ahead and just remain quiet, cast. But uh, this is September 27th, 2011. This is State of the Game. I'm your host, JP McDaniel. And tonight on the show, we've got a fan of guinea pigs and, of course, vegetables. It's Dan Artosis Tipkowski. Dan, how's it going? It's going well, JP. How's it going awesome. with you, my friend? It's He's going also good. a fan of Hong on Prime. <laughs> he is am, Hong on Prime's biggest fan, that is for sure. The newest addition to the MLG Orlando Top 20, that of course is Liquid Tyler. Tyler, how's it going? It's going great, man. I artosis my way into another tournament. You did uh, indeed. What? Well, hold on. What? Tyler, how long have you been yeah. waiting to use that joke, Tyler? Man, what do you mean, what? That's, well, yeah. that's mean. That's one actually of the most, low. No, that's that is mean. not mean at all. One of the most epic. Tyler, don't take that guff from him for one second. That's mean, This man. kid one time stood on the most beautiful soapbox on our media event and was like, I artosis my way into a tournament. You're damn right I would have. And I'll artosis my way into everything in the future if I can too, man. It means I get to play more games. Like, yeah. He was so happy. There's no shame in artosis. Italy, man. man. Yeah. Look, Italy, that was a kind of payback for the way that WCG <laughs> fucked me uh, the year before with what do you mean by single always, elimination brackets that they did by alphabetically by first By somewhere name. along the way. Oh. <laughs> by the way, what? This, this took us 40 seconds to get into Brood War. That was a new record. Yeah, that was actually a new record for the show. <laughs> Let's move on. Jeff, I don't know if this is going to make you upset, but I'm just going to go with it anyways. Sure. A Protoss player who's now up one best of three over Destiny. Jeff and Control Robinson. Oh, oh geez. Is that, is that a little bit of a sting? Wait, wait, did you say dropped one? No, no, up one. Because you're 2-1 you're in best of threes, right? No, he beat me in the show match, and then he beat me in the MLG qualifier, and I just beat him in the ESWC. Oh, okay, so you're one down. You got one more to go. One more to go. Well, then I actually am an asshole for bringing that. Come on. <laughs> Let's just all be mean to each other. The, this is the reality of the situation, man. I, I deserved and... Uh, achieved those losses and wins so they are what they are sean i couldn't think of anything silly for you so you're just the guy who broadcasts to you daily <laughs> wow i got that's out. the meanest Easy. thing you said <laughs> i know don't worry. okay no, i can i can come up with some uh the guy who scrubbed out and six or uh five pool the final match wc 2006 yeah that sucked more breed or i did that <laughs> you were brave to do that everyone talked shit on I was, that i was like you know what no, it was he terrible was no no, you're fucking pretty... wrong. God damn, that's the dumbest thing I've ever said. Everyone's angry today on the show. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to State of the Game. Let's talk about the changes to Pool D at MLG. Dongergu and Sock had to drop out, and because the pools are already locked, they won't be reorganized or recalculated. So, Tyler, as you said best in the intro, you have artosis your way into a tournament. Sean, you're still with us here on the call, even though your uh, webcam's down at the bottom. For yeah, dude, watching. I don't know what that is, because I like everything's up I don't to know, date, and it works, and S damn look, it, it's look, always just me. Here's what it is, Sean. Skype's a piece of shit, is what it Yay, is. Yay, <laughs> I like that. Mass Protoss all in one group thing, because I think everyone kind of quietly agrees that Protoss is the race that's hurting the most in tournaments. They just tend to just drop out early. And completely ignoring any statement of balance in terms of observability of a tournament, I want to see a lot of variety of matchups. Mm, I, that's I true. hate that it's like, all right, yeah, and there's Protosses in there. So now it's an even distribution of races in the top. And we have all the Protosses in one group so they can eliminate each other. <laughs> like, for me, that makes me most excited for Championship Sunday. But for the pool play, I'm kind of like, damn it, can we do some swapping around? <laughs> well, how about I make you a deal, Sean? I'll give. Nick and Dan, all the PVPs for, for Friday night. <laughs> and you can have all the non-PVPs. I'll take PVPs, man. That matchup's getting really cool. <laughs> yeah, it is. Well, uh, let, let me rephrase what Dan said. I'll take PVP. I want to have a 45-minute break every hour. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was getting. Yeah. That's effing awesome, because one of the things I said way back when Monster talked about sponsoring EG, where's Red Bull? Where's Rockstar? I'm waiting for the Rockstar land. I'm waiting for Team Liquid <laughs> Rockstar. And Tyler goes like, at the end of the state of the game, oh, fuck, fucking, fucking, uh, Rockstar 2. They're cool. <laughs> <laughs> Peanut shit. That, that's Rockstar how they'll drop the announcement. Like, what a match. Tyler would be the funniest spokesperson for Rockstar, actually, because it would be so painfully obvious at all times 
that he hasn't drank any Rockstar because he's so <laughs> chill. But then there'll be the one state of the game where he'll be like, JP, let's go. Let's get the show going. I'm tired. I got, what, like four hours to go? Actually, I could do it another eight, 16 hours. That's fine. Let's just do the show now. <laughs> do another one after that. And let's talk about MLG afterwards. I got all night to go. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> now, ISF 2011 World Championships in Seoul, South Korea. No Koreans playing. Uh, Jeff or Artosis, which one of you wants to take this first? I, I know Jeff that can go first. Yeah. Jeff can go first. All right. IESF is actually one of the is the event that a lot of uh, a lot of us close to state of the game and the people therein um, reference when they talk about one of their best Brood War trips. Machine, this is his first trip to Korea. It was my first trip to Korea. It was a, a magical moment. Artosis showed us the, the the amazing mecca of StarCraft. It was IESF Korea. Um, now they've announced IESF Korea for StarCraft 2. Uh, initially, they emailed me a couple months back about IESF, and, they were, and I said, hey, is this for StarCraft 2? And they go, no, it's for Brood War. I was like, thanks anyways. <laughs> I'm not going to show up and play Brood War. Um, but it's going to be StarCraft 2, but because it's Kespa ran, so not a lot of people necessarily understand this, Kespa is still kind of figuring out what their role is with StarCraft 2. Um, they will not be sending any Korean players because my assumption is, and I don't have the literature in front of me, so please, if someone knows better, jump in. They don't want to, you know, endorse it to the highest degree with their big label players, um, i.e. Koreans, because they're, they're, they haven't yet worked out a relationship with Blizzard and the people. So it's going to be a StarCraft II tournament in Korea with no Koreans. And that concept, it, I can't help but smile. That's freaking awesome. Could you imagine <laughs> an American tournament where they're like, Whoa, let me see your passport. American, get your ass out of here, you dumbass. Get out. Like, this is, this is uh, not for you. Thank you. Yeah. They're bringing over, like, a huge amount of foreign players, too. Have Some they announced the, the list amount. yet? I don't think so. It's, it's really pretty poorly ran so far, it seems. It's like... <laughs> uh, it's actually, it's disgusting, though, that Kespa is not sending a... I mean, you don't even have to pay money. They can just be like, all right, NST, just go. I mean, they, I know that they know that Zerg Bong is owning it up, all right? They could just do that. Uh, it's, it's just so sad because that's so petty. I, you know, I understand there's, like, business things and everything, but, I mean, hell, they even just had the WCG on OGN. So yeah. just send a player. Just have Korea represented in this tournament. It's like it actually, they just completely delegitimize the tournament as far as I'm concerned. There's not a Korean in it. It's like, oh, you won that? Oh, good for you. Okay. It's like, yep. you didn't go through a Korean, man, it doesn't actually matter. But you send one Korean, you send an ST or MVP, then it matters, man. You get second to, you get second in ST that's ten times bigger than actually winning the tournament. Seriously, because no one's even going to care, no one's going to watch. It's, it's a sad thing. Uh, they fucked up this tournament. This tournament's putting in a lot of money to have this, to make sure people are coming out here and run this tournament. And Kespa just, you know, they... They're, it's a terrible thing. It's a travesty of esports that something like this is allowed to happen. I should actually run the world. That's what it should be. Only through competition does a lot of this stuff improve, in my opinion. No, I, I think yeah. that uh, everyone would probably agree with that. Sean, did you did you catch any of the OGN WCG matches? I didn't. Uh, but I really like, want to find a replay somewhere. Like, there's news about this huge controversy where they've signed. Wolf away from Gom for a million dollars, and he's to he's to be the like Artosis lookalike on the other show. And <laughs> he's like, well, Frodo's players are doing pretty good. <laughs> so, he's got the same manners as you, Dan. He's copying you. I'm calling it right now. He's a body snatcher. You need to watch yourself. Lock wow, the doors. Good. Do not go out with him. That's good, man. We need more artosis out there. Uh, see what you did, Jeff. See what you did. <laughs> God damn it, Jeff. And let me pull up the list of players real quick. JP, I have to go. It's 10 p.m. Oh, yeah. It's Sean's bedtime, everyone. Sean, we'll miss your annoyingly loud chair and background laughs. <laughs> And maybe one week my webcam will start working again. I don't know. Maybe so. Is, like, Moonglade not there? Because I see two... Australians in this, but not Moonglade. I, I don't I don't know. I haven't heard any Russians you know? from Australian players. So. Man, it's an IEM event. Of course Moonglade's there. What the hell it's not. I have to announce him. He'll be there commentating or something. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, man, that's like his... He's always there. Good day. Welcome to the Guangzhou IEM tournament. <laughs> yeah, fantastic one here today. Uh, I'm so happy we got to hear, hear that impression, Jeff. 
Uh, about that group, by the way, Mana Qualified at first place gave up his spot, and Hasuobs fought X Lord for the spot. X Lord won, but canceled participation later on. So Hasuobs catching a break. Going Another in. Artosis. Is, yeah, he Artosis his way in. Uh, uh, C? Is Indra going? He's in group C. I think he is going to this. He should be fine on that, I think. Yeah, Indra, Elfie, uh, to be announced when it comes to the Chinese player, and then Jinro. The Jinro. Yeah. You want to talk about no diss to Jinro, but of Korean invites, like the the other ones like Dong Regu, then you have it's Puma, Revival. Revival. Like yeah. you, you're talking about some of the top, top Koreans, and then one of them is Jinro. Uh, you can only, like, well, I'll, I'll show you. Here's, here's Greg's face. <laughs> okay. Read the internet. Sees the Korean invites. <laughs> that's it. Well, that's all you're gonna get shat sometimes. Himself. He shat himself. He was just <laughs> fist pumping internally, of course, but tears streaming down his mental brain. The whole thing was good. He's very happy. Um, it's a huge matchup too. Jinro's denied him some GSL. Um, Jinro beat him in the Big Show match before NASL. Yeah. Uh, they've got a little bit of a past. So Idris going in for blood. The other guys are interesting too. Elfie, for whatever reason. Is another he has one of those, builds. He has one of those European players strong, where strong builds. your eyes kind of glance over him and just move away. And it's not because we don't know anything about him. It's because he's not one of the major big, big names. Um, but I guess at the end of Warcraft 3, he was like a huge monster talent. And now in Starcraft 2, he's starting to turn some heads. So uh, he's going to be tough. Idris has been studying up on him. He's not, he's not taking him lightly, that's for sure. His last name backwards. Oh, so it's Zigai backwards. Okay. <laughs> then uh, the Terran Chinese player away, and then Revival is going to be going. Is, is Revival code A? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Strelok getting a visa to China. I don't know if that's going to work out, man. <laughs> Strelok gets cut on visas all the time. That's, that I poor guy visa. has it's missed no out so many tournaments in his life. Then, like, two days later, he's like, it was problem. It actually, <laughs> it looks like a really good tournament, but a few of these players I just don't know. Yeah, I mean, probably the two Australian players you don't know too much about. And then all the Chinese. <laughs> yeah, no, then uh, all four Chinese players. Shigua, one of them not even announced. I've seen Shigua. He's, he's actually, from what I've seen, he's really quite good. Uh, I don't know Wei, though, I don't think. And I, don't, I definitely don't know Y-H-Y. Is that, is that how it's pronounced, Artosis? Did I really butcher it that bad? I'm pretty sure that X-I is actually S-H-I in Chinese. It's not, I'm pretty it's not sure. Zai Gua. <laughs> I'm not no, sure. No, I remember because I used to call Zowzi Zowzi, and then it was like, it's Shisu or something. I'm like, what? <laughs> X-I, well, I'm pretty sure it's S-H-I in Chinese. All right. Well, that tournament, uh, when will it be? Oh, yeah, October 1st through the 5th. So coming up here pretty soon. Artosis is correct. It means watermelon. Someone said <laughs> Watermelon. <laughs> Those things I wish ID. I didn't know. <laughs> God. Uh, oh, last thing before we take the final break, then of course, questions. Uh, I will say tweet questions at it me, JP. Uh, Power Forge asking, please ask why hasn't Sase been picked up by a pro team yet? I was asking uh, Dan this earlier when he took out Thorzine and the MLG Global Invitational. Jeff, you guys are going to be making an announcement of an announcement soon about picking uh, Sase? <laughs> I can definitively tell you that it will not be EG that, uh, at least for, at this time, that um, <laughs> bridles Sase, but I'll, he's a freaking good player. I, I could have sworn when, who was, it was like Complexity, it was like, we've got some pretty exciting news to announce. Uh, I thought they were talking about Sase, turns out they were talking about every other free agent um, <laughs> in Naniwa and Stefano. Yeah. Well, the game that was on Reddit I was telling you about last night. Oh, no, I did not, actually. I forgot oh, about that. You need to go watch that. If, if no one else has watched that either, go over to Reddit. You need search. to link me to it, JP. No, man. You just go over <laughs> you to Reddit. You need to link me to the minute in the game, man. I am a busy guy. I don't <laughs> just have Just go time. to reddit.com slash r slash starcraft. Search for Sase, and it'll be like the top link or so. And it's actually... That's pretty uh, complicated, JP. you got to oh, get some, like, man. new eyes and bat wings and, like, pour it in a cauldron or something to watch this VOD. No. This isn't World of Warcraft, Dan. It's fucking Reddit. It's the internet. <laughs> Internet's hard, man. Yeah. Well, for lazy fucks like you, it might be. <laughs> Jeff, people want to see your immortal impression from last week. Uh, I can't even remember it. I don't Usually it. it's, I think the funny part is... Because I don't give a fuck about you. I think that's what you said or something. 
Immortals are pretty... Immortals are just badass. Just watch them. They are pretty badass. But then you see them, like, poop themselves when a bunch of Marines start tickling them, and yeah, that's it's not true. so badass anymore. All right, here's a question uh, from the Sensen Man. Artosis, can you speak to how you feel about StarCraft II being so big now? You waited a while. Hoping for StarCraft II, how amazing is it? <laughs> it's amazing, man. I'm just so happy <laughs> that it's so big. Look at us. We make money now. Like, I would have been doing this exact, exact thing anyways. You can't like, tell on the media that, event, We'd all be you sitting there. Him. Well, it wouldn't be broadcast the world. It'd be, like, us and, like, four <laughs> other people on there, like, just shooting the shit about everything going on while playing games all day long. I, I mean, my life would still be completely StarCraft too. but the fact that I don't any longer have to live in my mother's attic, that's... Yeah. that's <laughs> It's amazing. I'm so That's happy. True, I'm doing that later in the game is pretty neat, and I really like that. It was he's so good, Sage. He's I love hey, Sage. Jeff, I got a question Yo. for you. Shoot. Could you imagine just two years ago, <laughs> Mr. Dan Hartosis Tim? I gotta go. I gotta get out of here. A DT drop <laughs> is pretty cool. Actually, oh, do you remember shit. that DT drop? No, was it eight or twelve by G five against Idra yeah. on <laughs> Three that map? I was a fan of that one, man. Mm, yeah. I was a fan okay. of that one. Mm. Story Maybe time. because I, I was watching Idra be in so much pain as he lost an unlosable <laughs> game to a man with only 12 DTs. Ah, that I was can't so remember funny. if I've already told the story, so people have to suffer through it if I have. But uh, WCG 2007, Idra and Artosis are, of course, in the same group because that's the way the cosmos work. They like to make things funny as shit. Greg at the time had a bit of an identity crisis. He was like uh, a Zerg player who played TVP. Can't remember if I got that correct. No, no. He was a Terran that played PVT. PVT. Excuse me. He played PVT. He was a Zerg player that played PVT that year. Um, he gets Dan Artosis. They sit down to play, and obviously I'm like, well, fuck whatever I'm doing. i got to go watch this. <laughs> oh, so man. I sit down next to Dan. Dan's playing. Now, when Dan plays, it's a lot like a really like very piano like bum, 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 bum. like it's there's a lot of movement and shit his pinky's shooting up to the heavens on his right hand it's actually disgusting to watch there's a picture on reddit because i've talked about this dan's playing him and i can't remember dan you win like right two one the well what happened was I, the, uh just tell the me first game well the I'm first game tell. i had one and then they disconnected yes. us because the what plug part in. of the story what's the result yeah, I won 2-1 at the yes. end. Yes, okay, so in the first game, was that the DT drop? No. Uh, no, he he did that in the rematch, he did the DT. Yes. Because Normal in the first game, like, I raped him. Normal game, Dan's playing pretty good, feels strong, disconnect, okay, regame, whatever. Next game, Idra instantly DT drops this kid. And I remember he was sitting sitting there, and he's talking to me, like, because he's, like, the match is done, I'm like, oh, you know, there's a disconnect, he's like, yeah, I would regame it. So, well, what happened? He goes, He's like looking at me. He's he's talking to me. Greg is like two computers over here, obviously within earshot, five feet away. He's like, "Oh, the fucker DT dropped me. He's a fucking cheesy newbie, the stupid son of a bitch." He's saying it to me, but it's about him. Man, he's like, "Stupid fucking DT drop. Like that takes any skill. Like I fucking build my missile turret. I've got my my spy, my spider mines around my base, and he fucking comes in a shuttle, drops it right on the missile turret." It's gone. It's fucking game over. It takes a lot of skill. And Greg's just like, you know, happy as a clam. <laughs> but Tyler brings a good point, Dan. Two years later, he doubles the DT drop. And well, it's a different it. place, man. Yeah. <laughs> he drops four, and then could you imagine what Dan would think of building DTs in a turn base in StarCraft 1? <laughs> it's happened. Just, just like... Spread butterfly wings, and all of a sudden you can like warp in twelve DTs in that spot. I'm trying to imagine the vein that would burst out of his forehead right here. He'd yeah. be like, <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> yeah. "Oh god!" As if it's bad enough. <laughs> uh from on Dan. Dan, you need to switch to Terran because it'll help your commentating. That's why you switched to Protoss. You're gonna switch to Terran. Uh, DT drop you. Yeah. He doesn't yeah. seem too thrilled about that. Marauders aren't, uh, you still got to make them every now and then, Jeff. He won't switch over until they're yeah. worthless. He might have a better opinion of him if he gets to make them. 
Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> no, I know what they'll feel like, man. I'll feel like easy buttoning the game. I don't want to do that. He'll do that exact thing that he just said about Idra, but about himself when he starts making Marauders. And it was like 20 degrees out, so that was actually probably one of the worst events, but should be a good event uh, for, the, for the upcoming one in about two weeks. One of the nicest hotels I've ever stayed at was the Gaylord in D.C. Yeah, they're nice, man. Yeah, yeah it was pretty ridiculous. However, for people traveling to this, there's the MLG message, which is Gaylord's awesome. Now there's the in control, I got your back, you know, Brohan What's that? message. Eating is going to cost you your mother's fucking salary or whatever the, the shit you pay for your life with. Like, I'm trying to think if there's food around. I'm pretty sure there's food pretty near the restaurant, Jeff. But you Do not have fall for the trap of eating inside that hotel. Yeah, for sure. They pay for that freaking nice hotel off well, the tomfoolery and the trickery of the people who are idiot enough <laughs> to order breakfast there every morning like yeah. I did. No, no, don't get breakfast. The sports bar, though, was cheap, wasn't it? It wasn't that bad. <laughs> oh, it was reasonable. It was reasonable. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. But also down the strip from the hotel in D.C. was like all the food you really wanted. Bring a uh, sack lunch. And also, MLG hosted at a beach resort, LOL. I've never seen a bigger waste of luxury. <laughs> My God, man. <laughs> The last thing I want to do after a 14-hour day when my feet are killing me and I'm, my, my brain's, like, literally got smoke coming out of it. Let's go to the beach. Is go to the beach at, like, 3 a.m. Well, they have There's a water park, sharks Jeff. in that water, man. There's fucking sharks in that water. Came out. Um, Jeff, I got to ask this because I know the EG house watched it. Did yes. you like Precious? Was that a good movie? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, my God, that movie, uh, man. Uh, 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 Precious. What in the... That's like Pre the most depressing movie Precious ever. is one of the most hilariously uh, disturbing and awkward movies a room <laughs> full really of is. typically jovial StarCraft gamers can watch. Like, oh, God. Uh, the whole time, Bryce, who has seen it, and he was like the only right. one who had, would like flip around and be like, wait till you see this. This is so fucked up. There's and, scenes and, in that movie that are uh, fucking incredible. They're just revolting. By the way, Jeff, new idea for EG House. Scoots will probably like this. You guys need to do EG movie night. Just put a camera on you guys watching some movie and uh, just stream that yeah. for two hours, man. It'd be good, good We're content. We're a pretty good crowd because what I do when a movie's really, really bad is I just start uh, Space Odyssey, you know, 2000. <laughs> no, exactly. That, that's why it would be awesome, man. You guys should definitely do that. I'm sure Scooby Oh, you know what the more. worst movie? You watched it with me, Jeff, when you were in Korea. Skyline. Yeah. Oh, oh my dude, god. Dude, that's on I was gonna watch that on Netflix the other night. It's bad. Oh, don't you dare. It you is any money, man. I don't it's... wanna watch it. How? It's like oh. the worst movie ever. I had this night a nice little movie night with Dan and his lady friend and we were, I, I don't know, I don't know how hard you guys tried. I tried as hard as I could to make that movie enjoyable for myself. Yeah, it was just so <laughs> terrible. Yeah, cool, big, big fucking, you know, robots and... Oh, they're here to steal our brains, you say. Yeah, All right, I'll follow that for a little bit. Right. And uh, now what? Oh, everyone died, but your brain took over this? And what? What? <laughs> it was, oh, my God, it was so bad. They try to escape in, like, race cars and... Don't or say not, that like, word. Dan hates that cars, word. And it's fucking, like, don't look into the light. And then, of course, there's, like... like Oh, man, that's, that's a bad movie. That was terrible. Uh, in fact, I'll tweet it, a little link to it. There you go, I tweeted it. So All right. Click on it. I can't actually tell who this is, so it's time to play shit on whoever's standing or sitting behind Jeff. SC2 Maestro says, who is the guy that's been digging for gold in his nose behind Jeff for the past 20 minutes? Jeff? Probably just looks like that. He ate chicken, so I think he's picking out of his teeth. It's Axelab, man. Excellent, you know man. what? If he was doing that, more the power to him, man. That guy's a genius. Everyone should be doing that. Maybe there's brain power in your boogers. Maybe so. Jeff. You should push him back up, not pick him out, man. <laughs> well, what if he just eats him afterwards? Then he's then he's okay. He's he's got like a little, kind of like a gold member from the Austin Power series. He's got a little uh, um, tin tin case that he puts his boogers in and he collects them. And when it gets big <laughs> enough, he makes a sandwich. It's a lot like a uh, spam. See. Yeah, I see. he uses a meat patty. It actually has that texture too. This is getting gross, Jeff. Why don't you just tell me about your sponsors, man? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 